Hey guys, Jesse here, FNP Tune. We've got two different block halves here, or case halves for uh, EJ Subaru. Um, we're gonna take a couple minutes to talk about them, some of the differences. As you can see, they are different. They're both semi-closed. Uh, this is an example of a sleeve motor though. This, uh, we still have the OE sleeves, so we haven't replaced them. Uh, why you wanna go with a sleeve motor versus, you know, non-sleeved, what's involved with it, that's kind of what we're gonna talk about today. Uh, what are the power expectations? What are we going to run? That all comes into play. How are you going to drive it? Is it going to get heat cycled enough? Is it going to uh, not warm up as much? What, uh, is it just going to go out to the racetrack and get beat on? All things to consider. So we'll talk about this guy first. Uh, a little bit more expensive to see the block. If you look, we'll zoom in. You can see these are actually inset into the case half. So what they do is they bore out and cut out where the stock cylinders are, so where these would normally be, and then we slip in. These are Darton dry sleeves, and they mount them, they secure them so they don't move, don't drop, and then uh, you go and you bore the motor just like you would any other motor, but now you have sleeves. Uh, the other thing that we'll kind of show you on this one too, this one's O-ringed. Uh, when we start push, pushing over around 30 PSI, kind of depends on the turbo, depends on the car, uh, but for us, it's right around 30 PSI is where we say, all right, we need to sleeve it. We need to o-ring it. That's when we start going to this. This block should hold upwards of about a thousand wheel. We're going to shoot for about 700 with the build. Uh, so that's, you know, a little bit more cost, but huge, huge upside when it comes to peak power potential and what it can run. So then going to this guy, and so now we've talked about this, you say, okay, seems superior. Well, yes, but there's a big cost with it. Uh, you know, you're... OE rebuild. So let's say you take a block, put forge pistons, forge rods, or upgraded rods, sorry. Uh, let's say I can grab a set of these bearings even sitting here. Throw a set of king bearings in it, whatever, your, pick your poison. Start chucking it all in there. These actually hold a good amount of power. If they're made correctly, if they're done well, we say 550 to 600 wheel. And we've got a couple cars right around the 600 mark with them now, and they seem to do just fine. Uh, why would you want to, you know, only do this versus this? Well, you know, like I said, cost, you got to buy the sleeves, you got to pay for the install. It's just a lot more, you know, usually about $1,600 to $2,000 more, depending on what we're going to do, versus a OE short block with OE sleeves does great for most people if they're staying under that 550 to 600 wheel horsepower mark. Uh, and again, we'll zoom in here so you can see just the differences in the case halves, just the big, big differences for what you're going to run and how you're going to do it. Both hold power well. Both will do well, depending on your goals. Um, kind of just wanted to show you what they actually look like instead of, you know, in the car, everything's bolted together, bolted up. You say, yeah, you've got a sleeve motor. What does that mean? Well, here you go. This is what, this is what they are. So pretty cool stuff. All right, thanks for watching. As always, check out our website, YouTube channel. We get updates pretty often. And we're going to try and do more videos like this showing what goes on in the shop more so than just on the tuning side of things. Because uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff in and out of the shop that we just don't stop to take videos of. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.